Good day ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brerios Kerensky and welcome to the unboxing of R-Type Final 2. This is one of the lower physical tiers for its Kickstarter and let's get right into it by showing off this box which is only slightly larger than a standard A4 sheet and uh, as you can see not uh, that deep and only on one side we have the reminder that this is our type 2 final. So, back to the front cover for a little while. This is the R9 Arrowhead, the main ship of the first R type, I think, the standard round force. And on the back, just the R logo, and down here. A nice graphical element again with the R9 and below that a bunch of trademarks and uh, as you can see this is kind of a standard mail package which I don't really want to open like this maybe I can maybe there is a way to oh yeah yes there is a way without uh... all right So, crowdfunding edition of uh, R-Type 2 Final, keychain, soundtrack, CD, protective sheet, and the official art book. On the front cover of the game we have a bunch of R9s, the title of the game of course, and a reminder that this comes from Kickstarter. So, the sides, nothing much to report. And uh, I think this indicates uh, this is the Switch version, although I'm not entirely sure. Nothing inside the box. And here we have uh, the, let's say, real game. The front cover isn't that different from the outer box. Just a reminder that, once again, this is our type 2 on the spine. And on the back, four screenshots, not the usual three. But one of them is just the pilot customization, not much to report. And inside we go. Okay, there isn't a manual, but there is a very, very quick uh, reminder of uh, the controls. Although you can download a digital manual from here. Soundtrack CD that on the front cover has the same R9 we've seen on the initial outer box. And below everything we have this dedicated to Team R-Type Final 2. And uh, Team R-Type Final 2 is how collectively the Kickstarter backers have been called by Granzella. So, Spine, just the title of the soundtrack. And on the back, the 29 tracks that compose this CD. And... Inside, nothing much on below the disc, and the disc has a wireframe of the ever present R9. And this is not quite a booklet, but there is a group render of various R ships, again with the credits for the various tracks. Well, nothing much to say about the keychain. It's uh, the R logo we've seen on the other box with the Team R-Type Final 2 moniker below that. The official art book is the last item in my reward tier. On the front cover, again, a bunch of our ships and uh, the illustration doesn't continue on the back, which only has uh, the R logo. So, let's 
see what uh, this uh, art book has to offer. So wireframe and modeling of some of the ships. Most probably these three ships uh, are the starters. Oh, they went into quite quite a lot of detail for uh, for the models. One thing I don't like uh, is that uh, the art book is in Japanese only, only just a handful of uh, English uh, names. Which is kind of disappointing considering that Kickstarter is international. So if you've played uh, our type final one, you already know that uh, the creature there was one of the playable ships. Space carrier, uh, probably spoiler for the third level or whatever giant thing will have to assault during the game. or maybe a giant slug. I haven't played the demo, uh, no particular reason for that, uh, but uh, after the demo came out, I did replay R-Type Delta on the PS1, just because. Oh yeah, happy pilots before they die. Okay, this is spoiler territory for the last stages, unfortunately. And uh, more ships uh, you'll be able to unlock. If I'm not mistaken, there was a ship that would unlock after a hundred hours of play in the first, uh, in the first star type one. And I remember that uh, I kept the PS2 and that game on for quite some time to unlock that ship rather than play actually playing for 100 hours. But yeah, that's all the story. What really makes this limited edition is the presentation. The other cardboard box is a very nice idea and what you get inside is well done, although maybe a bit uninspired, especially the art book which is just a collection of renders and not really a study of the game. You won't find this limited edition in stores because this is a Kickstarter reward of course, but you will find the limited edition done by I think Nis America for the whole world, localized for the region you're in. The first hour play of this game will follow, but uh, before that I have to show you something else. In the meantime, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing and you'll stick around for more. Briareos Kerensky, over and out.